<laughs> Sounded like Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop. Shoot to kill. All right. Please, Debbie, not another step. Don't move. It's the dog from the portrait. Stand back, Debbie. Stand back. Any other stray Doberman would be fine, but this one might have been in a painting we saw. It's a devil, and it's fun. <laughs> His name's Mephisto. Can we keep him? <laughs> Darling, baby, you could have been hurt. Kids worship the darndest things. <laughs> yes, honey, red rum, whatever you say, dear. <laughs> but you should never run away from it. Debbie, don't ever run away from us. And don't consort with the devil. No, don't run away from us no matter how useless and neglectful we are. Where you baby? In a big place? In a big place? Where, Debbie? The Northwest Territories. Oh, hope it wasn't a mall pet store. They use puppy mills, you know. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the ghost. Oh, she tells a good story, huh? Where is the place, Debbie? You're gonna, you're gonna use that creepy voice from now on. I think I want to endanger you a little more. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think she wants us to follow her, Laura. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, at the Copacabana, Jules Padel proudly presents... <laughs> Benatar and Trisha Nixon. Wow, the Unitarian Church has gone a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some went wrong there. Mike, it's horrible. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey, campers, always douse your hellfire before you leave a room. I'm Tom Badette. We'll leave a pie around for you. <laughs> oh, for fun. Great dinner, too. Oh, mm. I'm going to find Torgo. He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, and keep Debbie away from Torgo's litter box. Great hotel. Really convenient to the mouth of hell. Mm. Well, better get back to directing. <laughs> <laughs> 29 bucks a night for what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late for the staff meeting. Did you decide when we're having our bake sale? Or... They've done a lot with the place. Um, <laughs> boss, I got the ice machine fixed. Daddy, I need a drink of water. I want her. She's mine, mine, mine. Do you hear? I want her. You have all the wives you need. She's mine. Look. Joe Perry of Aerosmith. Yeah. <laughs> and in a moment, the results of that trial. Okay, honey, scooch over. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you could work for me Saturday. 80s wife, 50s wife, how you doing? <laughs> Good you are. I won't He's doing anymore. Macbeth. I have my own life. I won't have to come in here to greet It was I Callahan, have... the big one. He did this to me. I don't care for this reimagining of Sleeping Beauty. It's <laughs> working for me. It's tad creepy. You're his first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. Ah, uh, Torgo, don't burn any bridges yet, buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess that wraps it up. Uh, <laughs> see you guys at lunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, that might be. Devil's comforter. I uh, brought my pet moths with me. <laughs> Gir girls like moths, right? So you want to get some coffee or something? He needs groping lessons. Itty bitty spider goes up the water. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I realize this is a little awkward. Oh. Well, his technique has improved somewhat. Sorry, I dozed off. Your pelvis is just so comfortable. <laughs> Thank you for letting me get this off my chest. This could very well be a young Nick Nolte here. <laughs> yeah, I, I take care of the joint while the master's away. He don't let any booze in the house, so I end up drinking his aftershave. Uh, let's just keep this between you and me. With all of you. <laughs> oh, my hernia. Whoa, Charlie Horse. Oh, I gotta cut back on the Pilates. And there goes Torgo. He's rounding the master, heading for the straightaway, and there he goes. Meanwhile, in the middle of the desert, Dad, oh, and we're back to Mom. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I guess it hasn't been that good of a vacation. Fast paced action scenes here. The sexy, sultry kerchief removing theme. Oh, yeah. Torgo, I just met a fella named Torgo. The bed bugs are literally leaping onto her from across the room in an effort to escape Torgo. <laughs> Marilyn Quayle in Baby Doll. The only good reason to undress at this point would be to change into a hazmat suit. Mm, Mrs. Phyllis Torgo. Guess I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just gathering windowsill flies for Madam's breakfast. What? What? Is Cargo juggling? Joel, we can handle this. Yeah, it's a good thing she's wearing her spare dress in case her regular dress has a blowout. <laughs> oh, it's the latest episode of the Taster's Choice Saga. Hachi Wawa! Showers, anyone? <laughs> Parents, now would be a good time to talk to your children. Fap, 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 fap. Okay, that's too, too much. much. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my. I'm sorry. Who was looking at Maggie the cat? <laughs> Ooh, got him right in the sweet spot. <laughs> oh, my. Dad did not see that one coming, and the referee is nowhere in sight. Oh, that's a spaceship. It's a flashlight. Oh. <laughs> Film through a used oil filter. Oh, my leg, my leg, oh, oh my, my leg, my other leg, oh. Hey, come on, poor Torgo. You know, I take the ability to kneel for granted. I don't know about you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. The scene is meant to represent what the audience feels like while watching Manos, the hands of fate. <laughs> Looks like a really cheap Robert Bly workshop. Man, I hit a lot of guys, buddy, but you really take the cake. <laughs> Tap, you're down. <laughs> you know your life has hit a low point when you're given a wedgie by Torgo. <laughs> pretty much the, the bottom there. Oh, and the hell of it is he's never going to get that cashmere sweater clean. Mm. Good lord, you're a fat load. What, do you eat cake batter for a living? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It's the only way Torgo can get people to watch his poetry recital. <laughs> Oh, Targo, no, no. Oh, now he's really becoming unappealing. Oh. Targo's got to hurry. He's Skyping with his parents in five minutes. They just got back from a cruise. They're really nice people. Very slender knees. You know, maybe Torgo should have let him get closer to that pole and then hit him. Okay, Torgo can now add a hernia and a prolapsed navel to the list of his deformities. Oh, great. Torgo's giving him a snuggie. <laughs> Got confused and started licking the back of the guy's neck. <laughs> Happens to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> but was Manos the hands of fate on music through the night? There. Uh, job well done, I think. Time to celebrate with a tall glass of my own saliva. <laughs> Sorry. This fall, Torgo and Elaine Bennis team up on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Ah, The Moon, so far the movie's best performance. It's a terrible campfire song. La 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 la. See? Whoa. Oh, oh man. I had my sleep number set way too high. I left a wake up call for 1953. What year is it? Oh man, I don't mind telling you my bladder has hit critical mass. Mm. The very definition of horror. Jeff Foxworthy in a moo moo. Doggy go walkies? Hmm? Is that a good doggy? Yes, good helpies. Slave ladies? Mm. He's not a morning person. Mm -mm. Oh, I get it. Mondays, huh? Mm. Next week on Manos. Thomas Kincaid really blew that yeah. one, man. I just. Something happens after this? So kiss a little longer. Fresh. Some delicious A1, my pet. Oh, Roy, you shouldn't have. Hey, this is Polo. Hey, that's a reason to kiss. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Jeez, kissing. I love this stuff. Love it. Hey, come on, it's the 60s. There's no getting your fingers through a woman's hair. Back to that movie. Now watch them try to trade lips. <laughs> <laughs> Back to another bad movie. <laughs> Whoa, oh, officer, interrupt us. Got that Cialis you needed, Frank? Ah. <laughs> Thank God. Again? How many times do you have to be told? Twelve. <laughs> Can't a couple not bone in peace? Will you? I do. Go chase that other couple. What other couple? Mm. <laughs> oh. Guess I swallowed your gum. You Want to handle this one, honey? Who's that? It's the one deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere. So now get it. no smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. That's what my deputy's Just for, jumping on. 
He jumps on me. It really hurts. We'll just go ten yards up the road. Okay, I'm, I'm coming around there to you, but no jumping on me, okay? See? The love vigilantes. It's the Makeout County line. <laughs> Think we should try some of that kissing, Bert? Mm. See, was it that hard not to jump on me? <laughs> I just... They like kissing. Go figure. Uh, well, I'm gonna drive. Okay, I'll drive, I guess.